Hey, it's Brian Wright with BrianWright732.com, Killer B Combat Sports and Fitness Academy at KillerBCSA.com, and then also uh, WrightPartnersInc.com. So I'm coming to you live from the gym here at Killer B. I've got Little B with me, and uh, it's a little loud in the back because we're busy right now. i got to apologize for that, but I just got a point I want to make. So one of the main things that we have with in terms of retaining customers, members, whatever, is just having a sense of gratitude and appreciation for them. You'd be amazed at what you could learn by asking simple questions with your clients like, how are you? How is our service helping you? Because at the end of the day, the only way you're going to retain business is by providing a service that's going to have value for them. Now, if this is a service that has a prolonged period of time, like in a gym, you want to get them as lifetime members, you have to constantly be upping your game and making sure that your value is constant for them, which means you have to actually ask them some questions, you have to communicate, and you can't act like, well, it's my place, I have this amazing system, come from it, benefit, whatever. You have to tweak the system or at least tweak the message so that it's delivered in a way that constantly keeps your person engaged. I don't believe in the inmates running the asylum philosophy where you change what you do to fit the needs of people. You change how you communicate if your system's sound. If your system is scientific and proven to work, if your product is 100% rock solid, backed up by information and has years and years of proof of results, well then it's just about constantly coming up with ways to communicate. Embrace social media. There's a million and one apps out there that you can interact. Embrace their hand. When they come through the door, shake their hand, say hi. I haven't asked you how you're doing in a while. How are you doing? What's going on? How's training going for you? You'd be amazed. I've had some of the most pe people that I thought were some of the most disengaged members in my facility have given me some of the most profound insights into what I do. So never underestimate anyone. Never underestimate the passion. Everybody's going through their own struggles, and sometimes that creates a little bit of a barrier for communication for them and you. So break down those barriers, communicate with people, let them know that you actually give a shit about them, and uh, continue developing a long-term customer base. I would rather have 100 people that stay with me for 15 to 20 years than have uh, 150 people that I'm constantly having to re-up and you know refill in the in the chain you know consistency is the key in all business so embrace your customers embrace your message if again what you're doing is sound you don't have to change what you're doing you just have to learn how to constantly communicate it better and better and embrace the technology so you're speaking to someone in 2016 and you're not acting like it's 2010 so stop updating your myspace profile and stop trying to find friendster because they went out of business and get yourself on Facebook, get yourself on Snapchat, get yourself on Instagram, have a very good functional site, and make yourself visible in the world, not just online. All right? Peace out.